Hey, so how about we create a simple game as an exercise before we end this section? That sounds cool, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you the problem and then after you've had the problem, I want you to pause this video, try it on your own before you play again to see my solution. So after I tell you the problem, I'll switch scenes and then I'll implement the code. But I want you to watch that only after you have tried. It's okay if you don't get it right as long as you make good progress, okay? So these are um, this is the, the game we are going to create. We want the computer to generate a random number between 0 and 2. So the number could be 0, 1 or 2. And when the program starts, we want the computer to ask you to enter your nickname. So you enter your nickname. And then the computer will ask you to try to guess the number that it has guessed. So you have to enter your guess and the computer will print a message telling you whether your guess was true or false and it will tell you what it guessed and what you also entered. This is very easy with all that we have learned up to this point in time, right? So pause the video, make an attempt and I am going to switch scenes now to do the implementation with you. All right, so I have a file created and the name of the file is guessing game. And so we start off by importing random. Remember, we have learned how to generate random numbers in Python before. Okay, so now that we have imported um, the random, we are going to um, guess a number. And the guess here is basically to generate a random number between 0 and 2. So it could be 0, 1, or 2. So I will call it um, guessed number is equal to random.randint. We also know about this function that you give it a range in which the generated random number should fall. So you can see that it says it returns an integer in the range A and B, including both endpoints. So 0, 1, and 2. Any one of them could be generated randomly. Okay, so now that we have generated a random number, we want to um, ask the player to enter his or her nickname, okay? So I'll say player Nikki, or let's just say Nikki. Nikki is equal to, remember the function, input. So I'll say enter your nickname. And I'm going to just put a colon there to make it look nice. I'm going to leave a space also. Okay, so now that the user have entered the nickname and we have stored it in the Nikki variable, what we want to do is to get the user to enter their guess, okay? So I will say um, user guess. You see how I'm choosing my variable names? It needs to be descriptive so that when you are reading the code, it makes sense to you. Don't just choose some haphazard random names, okay? So I'll say user guess. Now, you need to pause and think. This game is going to generate random numbers between 0, 1, 2, so 0 and 2. What data type do you think these are? They are whole numbers and so they are integers, right? And you remember that I said the input function always returns what the user types and presses enter as a string. And so we have to convert that string into an integer before we can use it, right? Okay, so let's say um, input. I, I can do that in one line, but I'm breaking it into two lines so that you understand what's actually going on. So I'll say, enter your guess, okay? So whatever the user enters here is going to be stored in user guess, but the user guess is going to receive it as a string. So we want to convert whatever is in user guess into an integer and store it back into user guess. So I'll say user guess is equal to int user guess. So this is where we are converting the guess that the user entered, which the program received as a string into an integer and we'll store it back into the user guess variable. Okay, so now we want to um, print out a message saying your guess was true or false, right? And then um, the computer will show what it guessed and what you also entered. I want you to use either the F strings or the str format or the old format approach, which I do not advise you to use. I am going to use the F strings here. 
Okay, so let's let's say game status. The game status will store um, whether your guess was true or false. Okay, so I'll say game status is equal to. We want to check if the user guess is equal to the the guess that the computer made. So we say user guess equals equals guess number. And remember from the class in the or on the booleans and com, com, comparison operators you remember that when we use this double equal to we are checking for equality and that returns either a true or false so game status here is going to contain either the value true or the value false depending on whether I, you, the user got the guess right or wrong and i'm putting it in the brackets just to make it look nice and easier for you to read otherwise you see an equal to here you see double equals there and uh, you are confused about that so you are always free to use the bracket to make your expressions look nice okay so now sorry now we want to print out something so that the user knows whether you got it correct or wrong so i'm going to use print f here so i'll say print um i'll say i'll bring the f and then i'll say your guess is and then i'll put game status there okay and then i'll print what the computer guessed and then what the player also gets so i'll say i guessed and then i'll put the computer guess there which is guess number and then your guess was and then i'll put the user guess here okay so let's run this program and then let's see let's play our first exciting game that we have created so I'm going to say Python 3 guessing game so it asked me to enter my nickname um, let's say my nickname is hackstock pie and then it says enter your guess at this point the computer has already made a guess it could be this the number zero one or two okay what do you think the computer guess? I'm going to go with one. I press enter. It says your guess is false. I guessed zero and your guess was one. So indeed you can see that the computer guessed zero and I entered one. So I'm wrong. Let's play this game again. It's a sight and this time around, I'm going to go as Moon Tiger because I'm a tiger and I'm going to get it right. Enter your guess. I'm going to go for zero again. Yes, your guess is true. The computer guessed zero and I guessed zero as well, so my guess was true. Let's play it for the last time. Um, which nickname should I go with? I'm going to go with Ingenario, Ingenario. And then uh, this time around, I'm going to say the computer guessed two. Let's see if we get it right. And yes, we got it right. The computer guessed two, and we also entered two, and so our guess was true. And if you were able to do it, hooray. If you weren't able to do it, I still believe that you made progress and it always takes time to learn anything new. So if you got it wrong, just look at my solution and make the corrections yourself. See where you got it wrong and then fix it. Your variable names don't have to be mine, but they have to make sense when somebody's looking at your source code. So thank you very much for watching. And this is how we are going to end this section. Let's take a quick pause and then I will see you again in a newer section.